most of the projects that I'm presenting to you today come from a class called Advanced Graphics and Interaction. And at the beginning of the class, I give them the challenge of combining one advanced graphics technology with one advanced interaction technology. Advanced graphics, I don't want to define it today. Again, offline, you can ask me what I mean by advanced graphics. Typically, it means um, real-time rendering of physical phenomena. So for example, um, an explosion that looks real. That's advanced. Uh, interaction, by interaction, I mean anything that is not a keyboard and mouse. So that's what we mean by advanced interaction. Because then you have to deal with uncertainty. Uncertainty is the big word for advanced interaction. And now I'm going to show you, with the time that I have, um, if, uh, some of our uh, portfolio uh, projects. So I've shown a couple of slides of virtual sculpting. And here I'm sculpting with one of, our, one of my students um, an object that we see in the middle of the room, but the camera and the audience sees on the, on the projection wall. Here we have um, high school students at Forscha Fredak interacting with uh, virtual sculpting. This one over here is an interesting project. It was called Base Jumper. And if you've never seen a video of base jumping, I, I recommend that you go to YouTube and do base jumping. Basically, it's people that jump off a cliff, um, you know, a kilometer high, and then with a squirrel suit. So a flying squirrel suit that has a membrane between the wrists and your hips, or even your um, ankles. So you have this huge membrane, and you're going so fast that the aerodynamics of the membrane make you fly, literally. Eventually, you have to deploy a parachute, of course, because you're dropping at 250 kilometers an hour. Um, it's a very, very dangerous sport. I don't recommend to, to do it. I recommend to, to see the videos on YouTube. But basically, what they created um, the same experience, but using a Kinect and the very large 4K projection wall. And it gave a very real experience of flying, both for the person that was doing it and for everybody watching it, which is something that you can't have with the Oculus Rift. You can't really share the experience. It's one person at a time, unless you, know, you have multiple people wearing the Rift and entering the same virtual world all at the same time. Over here, we have Danger Roads, which is a project where um, it's a, sort of a dark humor. It was exploring texting and driving. And then at the end of the game, it gave you statistics on how many times you crashed and how many people you killed and stuff like that. Um, so it, was, um, it, it combined um, a driving wheel with a phone. So you drove literally with the phone, and you text on the phone. And you lost the game if, both if you crashed or if you um, didn't text back. <laughs> so that was interesting. It was a very interesting experience. Most of us are going on down our lives, looking down at our phones, and the people involved in this project, the, the students involved in this project, they wanted to get your eyes off of the phone, off of the floor, basically, and up into the world, or the ceiling in this case. So they created FaceUp, which was a, a playful exploration of objects in the ceiling, projected from below with a projector, and all of your interaction being controlled with the Microsoft Connect. In this particular scene, um, she is holding a cup of coffee, of course, and her hand, which you can also see up there, sort of coming through the mist of the water, uh, she's popping bubbles. And as she is popping bubbles, she is playing tones in a, in a song. And so sort of the, the, the object of this particular experience that they designed was to uh, play the song and know what's going on. This one over here, again, is an experience of exploration, not necessarily a game. There's no winning or losing state. And as you move your body, you create a tree that's in front of you. And here you're seeing this participant create uh, a tree. And as more people pass by, uh, you create a forest, or, or the combination of people create a forest. So what is going on there is perhaps they had imagined, you know, you go to the bank and you take your number and now you have to wait. But perhaps uh, your kids want to do something while they wait. They can build the forest. And it turns out that this is wonderful for kids. They love interacting with it, and they can do it over and over and over again. They love the, um, the reflection of themselves, not quite themselves being this tree. Of course, since we presented at GameX, we've had the alien xenomorph try to interact with it. And we were able to track the xenomorph's body. The Kinect was able to do it. Um, but the Kinect was not able to handle the armor of this uh, armored uh, warhammer. So we <laughs> notice that there is no tree there. So the Kinect has its limits, as it's uh, natural. Here is Pod Racer. Uh, Pod Racer is an experience of, um, again, wearing the virtual reality goggles. But now you have haptic feedback. In, try to imagine episode one from Star Wars. 
And uh, young Anakin Skywalker, he's going through the desert, pushing and pulling on the engines in his pod. It's exactly the same, but now you can look around, you can go in different directions, and um, basically that's what my students presented. I'm going to skip a little bit forward. I've shown you most of the projects. These are just photographs from the projects. And uh, again, I invite you to follow us in, in Forsca Fredag is one event where we present every year. It's at Debaser, the one in uh, Midboyer Platzen. Um, GameX, we're going to be presenting this year. It's going to be in October. And we welcome you to the open house, which we hold every December in the visualization studio. So with that, I thank you very much for your attention.